good afternoon, you know, good morning, good evening, wherever you at. You know, this is this is delayed takes, and like I'm I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, you thought you were gonna get rid of me, life and life and, but I'm back. You feel me? King Kareem in the building, and I'm with my co-host because I'm the host this time. Oh my God, I've been given responsibilities. You sh they should have never let me get that. <laughs> so with my with my co-host Kiki the Don. You feel yes, me? sir. As we proceed to give you what you need. Yeah, the prodigal son returns. Yes, sir. We still in that hot cocoa season, so if you ain't yeah. been drinking yes, that sir. cocoa. Hey. Yes, sir. Diddy, come find me. Diddy won't be able to track me. No, he not. He ain't gonna be able to do a lot of things. <laughs> uh, that's crazy, bro. But you know, um, I'm getting off the bat. You know, we came here, we came here to discuss, to have conversations, to dive deep, if you will. So what ha we're here to talk about, firstly and foremost, this Netflix Avatar: The Last Airbender adaptation. It hasn't dropped yet or anything like that, but they have announced changes that they are doing from the source material which and all which in all honesty if you change stuff slightly for the source material to fit in live action we understand that we get that that is perfectly fine <laughs> what they're doing ain't fine bro they, what they are what they doing ain't fine like major they're like i don't i guess you, you can call it character development huh I could say yeah, that's that's fair because it's like I understand everybody want to come and look at stuff in different ways, but it's like when the original creators of the show are like leaving and stuff too, because it's like what had me have hope for this was like for one that live action One Piece, because I feel like that was personally done well, and all that and they yep. adapted that well, and I felt like Avatar would be easier to adapt than uh like something like One Piece and shit or like Yu Yu Hakusho, which I feel like it's immediately easier to adapt. And all that, and the trailer, the trailer looked good too. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, yeah, the, tra yeah. the trailer definitely was good. Like I, I definitely was was shocked. It's just a lot of times, net, it's just a lot of times you gotta be on your P's and Q's with Netflix. Cause you know that you you seen that you hockey show that much literally came and went. It did, but it was good though. I'm not gonna lie, like I've def like I feel like Yu Yu Hakusho specifically, its action was very good, but of course there's like some anime tropes that we need to play out in live action. It's like it it to me is a little some stuff be a little cringy. I ain't gonna lie, but it's just like you know I still enjoyed that, and I feel like we just wanted to deal with a lot of that stuff with Avatar, and I hopefully they do still keep those that level of humor they had in the show too, especially if they're taking out all of the side quests and side journeys that they went yeah. on for filler or character development which is something i'm not a fan of like i don't think we're getting actually no we are getting the village with um the moon well it's not the moon spirit but you know the you know the panda uh, you know the panda i'm thinking about i cannot remember its name off the dome for the life of me yeah but we're getting that i know they said they were taking out some other things as well i think of something involving like um Actually, no. Are they taking out the koi fish from the Northern Air Temple, or am I tripping? The, you said the fish. I, I know. Yeah. Uh, I I believe. I think I saw in the trailer that they was keeping that in. I think. Okay, because I saw they took out something besides like some of the action. Because like I saw some stuff that was some troll stuff too, where it's like, oh, Zuko's not even gonna be chasing the Avatar type shit. And I honestly thought that was hilarious. You feel me? But. And turn to like first my, my number one issue is when they start changing characters because at this point I'm scared they're gonna make Toph not blind. Um, Sokka's not uh, gonna David, be misogynistic when, when Derek me when Derek was we was talking about it yesterday and we were saying, Well, what if what if they what if because you know originally Toph was supposed to be a dude, but then they ended up changing it to a girl, so they were like, What if they go with the original intent and make her a dude? That's gonna piss a lot of people off because honestly, I don't even want Toph to be a dude, a dude at this point. I feel like for one, it was that gender balance that you had within the team as well, and all that because it's just soccer. Then it's three dudes. I mean, not soccer. Soccer and three dudes is crazy. Yeah. I mean, Qatar and three dudes. My fault. So I just feel like that that was a nice little balance to have. And on top of that, Toph just went hard. I love her. Like that's a lot of people's favorite character. And I like. I if it's one thing I love, I love a River City Rough Rider character. You know. Yes, sir, man. 
Yeah. You know, I like somebody to get down and dirty with it. And Toph is one of them. As Toph is literally one of those ones that does get down and dirty with it. But what turned to Sokka... Sokka's misogyny literally started the journey to save the world. I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> Not defending misogyny, but hey, that misogyny led to great it's, things. It's, <laughs> it's, it, yeah, it's like you, you, you need it. Like, it's not like it's kind of vital to the character. That as well, because he started because it's like for one, the Kyoshi Warrior arc, it would say, I'm glad they're going to do, but it's not going to hit the same unless he suddenly decides to become a misogynistic for an episode. And I feel that. like even if they did that, it would be too late because, like, you didn't pre establish this type yeah, of stuff early yeah, on. Like, people were going to find something, something to complain about that because, like, well, why is he so having a character shift like that? <laughs> Exactly. That's what I always say when you're making adaptation and stuff. You can change. You can change the story. You can change certain things around. You can change the story. Like you can have it start off at A and it long like you can change things in between it to get to B. But one thing you can't change is like the character's motivation, their goal, their their core character traits. Because otherwise. It's just not. Otherwise, this is going to feel like a completely different character. Exactly. And that's kind of my issue with that, too. Because that was a part of his growth. And that, like, not only this A becoming a man type shit, but also this becoming a leader later on in the series to where the point where it's like, okay, this feels earned that he's leading the attack. Even though, like, initially, like, say with the first attack or the Day of Black Sun, I think it was, when he initially just, fu- well, he feels like he fucked that up and he didn't because, like, he, in terms of just giving out the speech, when it came down to that action, he was about it. Like, sometimes the voice ain't there, but the actions are. And then that helped him become an even better leader. He had a respect for the Kyoshi Warriors and all that after getting dog walked by them and shit as well. And even then, after that point, he still had misogynistic tendencies and shit, I feel like, but it's like he also has that character growth as well, where it's like, okay, at least you know and you're changing your work it's like it's a work in progress he's not suddenly not gonna be a dickhead anymore and yeah. that's why we love soccer too shout out the backbender oh yeah and i found that report and stuff from the other day so it says to make avatar the last airbender a sterilized drama ang will not go to many detours looking for adventures like riding the elephant koi we essentially give him the vision i'm sorry hold on i had to burp for a second this vision of what's going to happen and he says i have to get to the northern water tribe to stop this from happening my thing is that's stupid like what i don't like about this is like we need to get to the northern like for one that changes the whole story off rip because they initially went to the northern air temple i think to get him a water bending master but they also had to do other things along the way it wasn't just a straight shot they helped people along the way and all that and he all and like there's still kids at the end of the day too because even then it's like you're gonna have him immediately accept this responsibility of becoming the avatar yeah he didn't want that that man yeah. literally he ran from he, he went to go get some milk yeah granted i could understand wanting to take a more serious tone as well with it you know when it comes to some of this stuff because it's like when you really think about it the fate of the world on a 12 year old shoulders hey <laughs> his, his balls ain't dropped yet but he's supposed to save me he's supposed to beat he's supposed to beat um mark hamill he's supposed to beat the doctor from um what's it called Grey's anatomy literally oh, no. well, that's johnny gat he got that thing on you feel me but it's just like i just feel like some things that need to be changed because i feel like a, fundamentally it's going to change some of their characters personalities and stuff as well and that's like i feel because like they haven't even spoken about guitar for real but i'm really scared what they're going to do with her character i ain't gonna lie because katara got on my nerves at times sure but when katara was locked in hey that's a rough definitely, rider too definitely definitely because it's like when when they take it, like, I'm scared that they're not even going to buy, like, if this series does continue past season one, even though that's further down the line and that's a lot to talk about, is she even going to confront her mom's killer? Are we even going to get that type of moment in live action? Because when she stopped that water, said, was he protecting the last water bender, me, and then just stop, like, yeah, nope, you're done. You're done. You're cooked. Wallahi, you're finished. My we thing is, like, because it sounds like I don't know. Do you feel like they would just cut? Like, do you, like, 
Because the way it sounds like to me, it sounds like they put in like literally everything else out and it's like, oh, you get it from point A to point B. So I'm hoping this is not like a 10 episode show where it's just like, oh, he, he just, my, my boy voiced the Fire Nation already. Like, Yeah, that, that will be OD. I'm not going to lie. I don't think, like, I hope that this is one of those 10, 12 episode Netflix shows, live action shows to where we really get stuff like for what it would have worked perfectly fine to like have the side stuff because they would still have to do they'd still have to do the blue spirit which they're going to have but i just feel like they're going to skip so much shit that doesn't need to be skipped and all that because for one although majority of us have seen the cartoon and shit you lose out on a lot of lore and world building when it comes to this stuff that's part of the reason why it works so well too like well we're not even gonna get the canyon crawlers at this point probably and all that I'm, people are worried about what's going to happen with boomy because he's going to be there like we're getting boomy and the northern air temple we don't know how many episodes this is going to be yet i'm sure I, at least it's not i don't know how many episodes i don't know if they announced it or been announced it i don't know you know either kiki uh I, um wait I, yeah I, I don't know i want to say 10 to 13 that's usually how many episodes netflix will will have okay for, uh, okay 10 to 13 ain't bad i'm not gonna lie that's actually pretty good you know um but still but still it's just like i just like i like the, I, something i appreciate when i watch shows is the level of world building and all that and just like the deeper lore in stuff that's what gets me into like stuff with games and all that too or even books world building is like very very essential when it comes to this stuff and then on top of that you would still need to do the flashback sequences and shit because we don't even know who Avatar Roku, who's playing Avatar Roku and shit when it comes to stuff like that. When I don't, I, I don't remember if it was Fire Island they went to, but that's the shit that happened where it's like literally like he set some shit off, all the statues started glowing and the world knew the Avatar was back. And then them niggas was like, hold on now. Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. I don't know that. Hey, hold on now. We almost, hey, we almost, we almost had the dub for real, you know, the Fire Nation were like, because if I'm on the Fire Nation army and I see that type of shit, like, nah, I'm cool off that, I don't care if he 100, I don't care if he 10, if he 10, he could be dangerous, and if he's 100, you know he already is dangerous, like, that's yeah. me, though, and you feel me, so it's just like, I just want, I just want certain things to just stay, I just want certain things to remain unchanged, I want certain things to remain untouched, and if anything, I want some things to be, um, Delving a little bit deeper into because what's her did Haru even pop up in season one? No. Do you know? Uh, do you remember that? I don't. It's been a minute since I watched Avatar, to be honest with you. Like, I, I've watched, like, I definitely am going to rewatch it before I watch the before I watch the uh, the live action. Yeah, uh, actually. Hold on, now that I think about it off the dome, it wasn't Haru I was thinking of, although he was on my mind. It was Jet. Because that whole Jet, that whole Jet thing, that whole Jet sequence, I mean the sequence, little saga, could really be an episode, maybe two, if they really want to go into it like that. Because Jet's yeah. going to end up being around for a little bit before um, he shows up later and all that. Because it's just like, I don't know. It's just like, there's so much, like, for me, it's just like, there's also just so many things they need to cover as well. And it's just. Yeah, and it's kind of like, a... I don't know if they can be able to cover all that in just 10 to 13 episodes. Well, because uh, the original Avatar, like, that had, like, what, made, like, they ain't have just like 100 episodes, maybe 20 at the absolute max. So it, it can be done, but it's just yeah. Netflix. You know, Netflix. Yeah, and I just like I understand like I'm not I'm not asking for no twenty CW twenty four episode seasons or anything like that, but I do want like at least the source material to be respected because the first episode was twenty seasons. I mean twenty seasons, twenty episodes. Yeah, each season was like twenty episodes. So okay, it's yes. not like they were that came out in two thousand, bro. This sh dog, this shit almost twenty years old. Crazy. Dog, I was six when this dropped. That's so crazy, bro. Oh my god, I remember this dropped like it was yeah. Cause like I'm looking at the oh wait I'm looking at the episode list right now. So it's the boy in the iceberg and Avatar Returns. 
that's those those two episodes right there is one episode so that's fine southern air temple that could really be its own episode just just that by itself because you know it's gonna run into Giopso and them. Yeah. Actually, you know what? If you haven't seen it yet, I don't know where you've been at. I don't know you had a childhood for real. Hell, there was points where I didn't have it where I didn't have a TV for a bit, and I knew what was going on. But let me go and hit the spoiler. Go hit the spoiler. So they go on that, and basically, man's daddy died. He see his whole culture dead and all that. Cool. Um. Then the Kiyoshi Warrior episode. And then you got the Boomy episode. And then you got Haru. It's Haru's the sixth episode. So they don't they might not even have Haru, but he's gonna be in like the final battle type shit. Or he's gonna pull up on like the day of Black Sun. Then you got the winter solstice and shit, and that's when the world found out the Avatar was back. Then that's the water bending scroll when Kataro's trying to learn the shit. Then it's Jet. Then it's the Canyon Crawlers. Then it's the Storm, whereas it's like that's Zuko's backstory and shit. You got the blue spirit. Then you got that fortune teller episode. Because I remember that big head ass little girl. You remember her. You remember her. She got on my nerves a little bit because she had that crush <laughs> on her. And then I remember that way he that he airbended that skull in the sky. Bato of the water tribe. That's when they was looking for um Sokka, Sokka and Katara daddy. But they found basically their uncle. And that's when, hey, that's when old girl full up on that damn mole rat. Hey, I seen her in that trailer too. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me, hold on, let me, let me add that black thing real quick, hold on, and where's that, where's Brand that, hold on, I'm about to, I'm about to pause that music, hold on, cause look, see, see, this is the, this is the, what y'all should never have allowed me to do, <laughs> by giving me this level of power, I'm doing this live recording, I don't know if this is gonna be edited out, and I kind of hope it isn't, hold on, let me find it, narration, steam, work videos twitch sound see this is this is where you shouldn't have oh my god this is you should have never given me this level of power and it's only the beginning it's only and it's only the beginning i will clip that and make it a clip <laughs> as well you think i'm playing <laughs> and it's only the beginning because man look look hey look Oh, girl, what's her name? May and not May. It's not May. May is Zuko's girlfriend, but you know who I'm talking about. Man, I seen her. God damn, <laughs> God damn man! Like, mm. dude said he's gonna act up. I'm gonna act, boy. Close the like, close the door when that episode come on. Don't don't bother me. I'm gonna watch that episode a couple times. Said I've been waiting. My, that's one of my goth mommies that um unlocked something in me as a child, you know. Mm. Then you got, oh god, hey. Then you got the dessert. They got John John in the first season, bro. We ain't gonna get John John probably. Then is the Northern Air Temple, and then you got the Water Bender, and then you got the um. Then you got them finally getting to the um Northern Water Tribe. Then you got the whole stuff with Katara. And her wanting to be able to be a fighter and shit instead of being a healer. Then you got the actual siege. The siege, I'm personally not really worried about because that's what it's all season was going to build up to. I'm worried about water bending master and everything in between. Like everything from really the Kyoshi Warriors moving forward. Everything from Giapso to the siege, I'm worried about. I'm there because there's so much, there's so much stuff. Like you can't take out Jet. You can't take... I don't think you can take out the Winter Solstice because that's world building. You can't take out Haru. You can't take out Boomy. Great Divide. They could take that out. But then it's like you're not actually seeing Aang and them help people along the way. But I could see them taking that whole thing out. I'm not going to lie. Because even then, Aang lied... Even then, Aang lied to the niggas at the end of the day anyway. And said, oh yeah, I, bo I knew them niggas. <laughs> and just lied on them. So it's fine. Storm was Zuko shit in the Blue Spirit. You gotta have that for Zuko's development. The Fortune Teller, they could probably cut that out and all that. Cause they're probably cause I'm cause even then with them being so trying to be so serious, they're probably not even gonna take the time to build the potential like the future relationship Katara and uh Aang are gonna have. Bato, 
episode with old girl. Yeah, we know we know she pulling up, so I ain't worried. I, as a matter of fact, I ain't worried about that episode neither. Let me be real. There's only like six <laughs> episodes so far I'm not worried about. And, I'm, and I already know which episode is going to be my favorite one. John John, I don't think he Aang has to burn Katara. I'm sorry, and even then, I and even then, I'm sorry. He he needs to set Katara's hands on fire. Let me stop before somebody decides to clip that. <laughs> you know, man, Northern Air Temple. Um, I don't remember what that episode's about. I don't. I'm gonna be so real. Um, he's saying he. Oh, that's the one where they found the people that turned his fucking the Northern Air Temple into um. An industrial complex, and that's when the fly they gotta have that too because that's when the war balloons come in that get set up for later in the series. And then everything moving forward from that is just a northern water temple or water tribe. And I'm just like, uh, they they honestly ain't gonna they honestly ain't gonna miss that much if I'm being real, but I'm still kind of worried about it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, not gonna lie, I'm still worried about it. What are your thoughts on everything, Kiki? I've been talking for like my head off. I'm sorry. You know, I'm gonna, you know, on the I'm gonna be constantly optimistic for it because it might end up being good. We we don't know, but my thing is, you have the original creators stepping back. Even still stepping back. I don't know. That that that's that's kind of spooky to me. Very, because they're the whole reason why this is even existing in the first place, and you got them not even wanting to touch their own stuff no more. Like, that really has to, like, I really got to want to know what went on with, what had to have gone on for, like, them to walk away from something that they made that's, like, so great and stuff, too. And then, like, I, and the thing is, when this got announced and all that, I was excited but skeptical, but then I was seeing screenshots and trailers and stuff as, like, you know, production was happening, and I really still thinking this was going to be really good, and I'm kind of on the same, I'm kind of in the same boat with you where I'm pretty, like, trying to be optimistic about things. And I'm skeptical about it because I wanted this to lead up in the Legend of Korra. I want this to potentially lead up into a Korra show so bad. But yeah, because... so that girl, girl Korra can get, can get them flowers. Oh, God, because um, Legend of Korra, a great ass show. Like, I know, I know maybe season two, what was this? It was season one hit. Season two, I think, was the one where it was more spirits involved. And I know people aren't really a fan of that season like that, or at least generally they're not. I feel like it just needed a few, ch- may probably needed a few changes, but I feel like it's a cool season. And then the rest of the seasons were pretty much bangers, which I really yeah. do like. You know, but other than that, other than that one season, other than that one blemish for real, I mean, like, Core is pretty good. And honestly, if not, if honestly is arguably better than the original Avatar, if I'm being honest, like if the biggest if the biggest hit is season two, I mean, like yeah, it was Avatar was the first Avatar great all the way through, yeah. But I mean, like in some ways, Core was better than Avatar than um Aang and them, the Aang gang. And on top of that, um, she just got more hands than him. I don't care. I if it's I, I'm I'm a slut. <laughs> For for a woman that throws hands and beats up everybody, I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Shout out, um, Ang doing his thing with that drill though, because I really want to see that in live action. It's, oh my god, my brain just processed. We still haven't seen Azula yet. Yeah, I wonder how they're gonna do that. And even then, when it comes to Azula, it's like yo. Um, they said they wanted to make it like more not the show more not for kids, even though it was a kid's show to begin with. They just like didn't treat that's just back when they cartoons didn't treat kids like they were stupid. Yeah. I feel like or not even stupid, but just like treated them like they already had some level of emotional intelligence and just intelligence in general, rather than baby and everything down, or they didn't know it's like you learn something new from the court from the episode or something you were watching. Which is why I like older cartoons. And stuff rather than um just some like newer stuff like if I'm with my cousins and I'm watching stuff with them like y'all y'all don't really have them gems like we do like we did but um another topic to talk about when it comes to this show in the words of Janet Jackson so you're the one doing the bending <laughs> yeah cause um 
I like I like what I see. I like with the bending that I see. I ain't gonna lie, cause I just uh, I found this comparison for like the move from the movie bending to the bending we got in this TV show and um this bending in the TV show. I already thought it looked good. I feel like it may have its moments here and there where it just looks like okay, oh like all right, all right, nigga, calm down and all that. But I feel like overall the bending in this show is gonna be very good. Of course, I'm kind of worried about that whole siege thing where he turned into a giant fish. <laughs> you know, because I'm just like, hey, that's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff, you know. And then like Appa, people were talking. Some people were talking about him a little bit as well. But I feel like it's all gonna be fun. Oh my god, I really just realized because they aren't gonna take it. It's not gonna be as lighthearted as it originally was. We're not gonna prop. We're probably not even gonna have the cabbages guy. Oh, we're definitely not going to have him. How are you not going to like? Do you? The man ended up having a industrial complex of cabbages in Legend of Korra. He he is a that man was a pioneer, bro. Like he he really made it. I couldn't be more proud. I couldn't be more proud of him. Like I literally saw this man come up setback after setback. I seen him get it out the trenches. I seen him pushing a cart. And we're not even gonna get him probably. We're probably not gonna get Secret Tunnel. We're probably not gonna get the Swamp People. We're probably not even gonna get the Dream Aang had where he saw it off. Or did that not happen until season two? I think that didn't happen until season two. There's just so much to be depressed about when I every time I hear about this, every time the more I think about the show. I just get slightly more depressed every time. Every time uh, every time something I think every time I think about it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, I do not like it. It pains me internally, mentally, and physically. But what if what if some people? Cause like what one of my homegirls is a huge Avatar fan. She busy. I'd have had her on here, and uh, if she wasn't busy. But a lot of my people are just very tired, and hell, I'm very tired too. But you know, we power through. And we here. But uh, what if what have the rest of the boys been saying? Since unfortunately Saint could not be here with us today, Saint was busy. That's also why I'm hosting. Uh, I like, oh, I'm, I might start hosting some more. This shit's fun. Mark. Mark said, "Well, Mark, you know from PlayStation. Everybody else from PlayStation said like, said like they they like they said they're gonna give it a try. Like they said they at least gonna give it a watch. Like Mark is like a huge Avatar head, so he'll say like, so I know him. He said like he'll he'll probably uh watch it to see. He said but he, but he said he's not gonna get like his hopes up or nothing, but he said he should probably be a decent watch." I feel you take it one episode at a time. They did announce Azula, by the way. I'm tripping like hell. Cause I remember Ian, they had a poster for. Her. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so slow. I'm, I'm, I, that's how I know I'm tired. Cause I, I worked. Um, what? I ended up picking up a shift cause they had something available today, and I went in this morning, and so my brain's just mush a little bit right now. I'm sorry. Mm, meanwhile, I have a three day weekend. Oh, okay. You ain't have to do all that. <laughs> Sick bastard. You know, yeah. it's okay because I love that for you. Because I'm working two, because I'm working two different shows tomorrow, unfortunately. <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh my god. But dang, is there anything else we got we could talk about when it comes to this show off the dome? Because this is just kind of just like I got off a of work thing for me. Yeah, that's pretty much it. For real, I feel like we talked about it, talked about everything. Who else could they pop to? Momo actually look. Momo looks like he's Momo. You feel me? Um. Oh my God, we talking about so much about the Aang and the gang. We didn't even speak about Onizuko and um, and Iro. First of all, are they even gonna do general? Are they gonna do General Zhao right? You know, I want to hear them talk about Zhao, the Moon Slayer. I need to hear him like, <laughs> I need to hear him spit like, uh, like hold on, like let me hear my titles type shit, you know. And I need to see that, 
bro, Zuko still has to get blown up. Yeah. He still has to get blown. What the fuck are they about to hold on? <laughs> oh, this show, my, I'm, like, I'm getting less and less optimistic the more I talk about it, but I'm still optimistic and I will take it by an episode by episode basis because I really want to like this show, you know? But it's just like at the same time, Zuko, so we still haven't talked about Zuko and Iroh and them for real and they still got to get blown up. Bro, oh my god, time out. And they still gotta, like, he still has to take Aang's, like, Avatar state body. They're probably gonna handle all that, and that's fine. But I want there to definitely be enough time to flush out, to start to flush out Iroh's and Zuko's relationship. Because when he, in the cartoon, when he says, you, when it's like, you know, you don't have to say it, Uncle. I love you as if you were my own. I'm like, man, look, I need to be, I need that line to be able to hit. I'm not even saying he specifically has to say that line, but to say something around close enough to that line in order for it to hit, because I want to, I want to actually feel for these characters and stuff the same way I felt for them back then growing up watching this show. And even now as an adult, look, if I were to rewatch the show yeah, and all that to understand, like you got to understand loving somebody enough to where it's like, yo, you're like my son, even though I lost mine and everything. Because it's like, yo, you love him like a son, and you lost one already. Like that had to have been that kid not have been easy type shit, you know. I just want my, I just want my characters done justice for real. You know, I would, I would personally like Zuko to rent like the few times Zuko did actually randomly pull up on them on their way to the Northern Air, uh, Northern Water Tribe. I would like him to randomly pull up on them like twice, like in the show. When that happened, I would very much like that. That would make me happy, you know. Yeah. God, this be great. I'm just like it's just it's just a lot to worry about when it comes to this show. Oh my God. This is so much. You got anything else you would like to add, uh, Brother Don? No, I think you pretty much. I pretty much you said everything for real, for real. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I don't be talking a lot in the pod because I like to hear get everybody's stuff. But I know you focused on that game, which he will be reviewing in his next episode. Yes, sir, man. Because I saw the cutscenes, and I would definitely got some thoughts on that because I did. I decided at the last second to not buy the game and everything because it's just like I just saw the way some of the cutscenes dropped, and so, you know, without spoiling anything. A lot of those con, oh, like I mean, I guess I could give you a quick little short summary of my experience playing the game. Um, just playing it, I'm honestly having like it, it's not. Let me put it like this: If you was to get this game, do not go into a thing with Arkham. Do not even compare it to Arkham. Like in the sense of it's made by the same studio, it's set in the same universe, but it's not the same play style whatsoever. And I think that is why. I have been kind of peeking on it because it's set in the Arkhamverse and I definitely don't feel like it should have been set in the Arkhamverse the way the game is set up but um, yeah. gameplay wise it's pretty fun like I'm not going to sit up here and hold you the story yeah. the story I, is, I, is kind of eh like it, it's good but then in some places it's like oh eh yeah because some of my homeboys said that in a group chat last night you know, like the, the gameplay fire. Like the people that are complaining about it, or well, cheating on it, have probably only seen those cutscenes out of context or watched all of them on YouTube, and just yeah. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I will, yes, I will be doing a review on that in the um, next episode. Please do because that game does look fun, and each character does look like you know individually. There, I feel like it's in some ways each character will play the same, of course. But I mean a lot. But that's they do kind of. Kinda, the only thing that they all the play the same is like the guns. Obviously, that's literally it. Like, well, if, it, they, if it's just they, the guns, then that's fine. I feel they, like it was entirely different. Their moves are entirely different. Like everything. Is different. 
Captain Boomerang, when I took over the Captain Boomerang, it did not feel like I'm playing with Harley Quinn or King Shark. Yo, because I honestly, when I play it, I'm probably going to play as Captain Boomerang or King Shark. Just because I know my brother's going to want to play as Harley Quinn. And he knows I'm trying to be from down under. Now, I will know. say the in-game stuff is when the game starts to really shine. I will say that. Is when it starts to shine? Yes. Like, it's not bad getting up to the in-game. But, like, once you get there, once you get to the in-game, that's when you, that, like, for me, that's when I've had the most during the in-game sections. That's fair. I'm gonna definitely. I was gonna cop it. I'm just gonna cop it later in the month and all that. I just wanted to get some stuff settled. I had to get a new SSD for the computer and all that. And I also had to. Um. I also am gonna probably cop Elden Ring at some point this month too. I think Elden. Um, I just gotta get some other things. Pay. You get it on PC. Yeah. I was. I, was, I, was, I want the mods. Oh yeah. I was. Yeah. Because I was gonna say. I think it might be free on PlayStation. I'm not too sure. I already got it on PlayStation because I gained share with one of my homeboys, but I want them, but I just want it on PC because mods and it'll be easier to stream and all that. When I actually do decide to um play that, because some of my friends were also that got PCs were uh down to play it as well, and all that we were just gonna mod it out and go ahead and stream that um at King Kareem 1969 on Twitch. You know, shameless plug type shit. You know, because mm -hmm. let's not forget to do that. Let's not forget the plug. Yes, sir. You know, and then of course, my, you know, my man Kiki the Don. You know, he up there on the Twitter, and you know, he got his, and you know, he got his episodes going to be coming out. So they've been, they've been flowing. Because I, I saw, I saw he reviewed that Ultimate Spider-Man the other day that that issue one, and I'm just sick. I could wasn't there for that issue because um I definitely read that the day it dropped. Oh, the I night even. Oh, oh, I have the actual book. Like I bought this paperback, man. I feel you. I'm not mad at you for it because I definitely would have, but I can't <laughs> wait for that. I said I'll cop it later. I need to read it now. Oh no, nah, I read it online too, but I was like, I want to get this on paperback too. I respect it. I, my game is game. You know, I you know I love. I it. think the next issue drops this month on the twenty first, so I'll definitely get it that weekend too. Oh, for sure. We and we will talk about it. Of course. You know I'm there for it. You know I'm there for it. You know we down for the universe stuff, new changes. You know, and I just got to free. And like I've been for trying to free up my Sundays more, and all that for y'all and everything. I've been spending time with other people, trying to get some other stuff right. that has been working, but you know, your boy gonna be showing up some more. So yeah, yes, sir, man. But I feel like this is a pretty good episode, and I hope, like you know, those of you that tuned in to watch or um or just listening, you know, I hope you very much have enjoyed this episode because this is like the first episode I've hosted. And I don't know how long, you know, it's just been forever. And um. Yeah, please, please, please like, comment, subscribe, rate us five stars on Spotify and whatever the thing is on Apple because <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't use the app, I don't use Apple Music, I use Spotify. <laughs> you feel me? Well, yeah, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, you know, show us some love, give us some uh, donations. donations, donations, gifts. Gifts. And make sure you know. Hit my man Kiki the Don at his socials. You know, Kiki, please, please feel free to share. Feel free to share. Yeah. Um. The the Twitter is Kiki. No. The, yeah. The Twitter is Polo Don ninety eight. Instagram is Kiki the Don. Don't forget the dots. Oh. And you know, you more. You know where I'm at. King Kareem nineteen sixty nine. On um, YouTube, on Twitch, was Twitch is where I mainly am at, along with Twitter, and I also have a TikTok as well, which I'm gonna try and be consistent on posting on that, cause good lord, I've not posted on that since December. We are in February, but I'd be trying. I actually streamed the other day. I actually streamed um this past Thursday, so you know I'm gonna definitely try to make Thursdays my stream days because. I'm going to try and be off because I get off early on those. Not off early, but I have early shifts those days, so I'm off during the day. So you ever on your lunch break, 
or you ever need something to keep you entertained like a podcast at work you know make sure you hit up the delayed productions the delayed w podcast or you know my man with his horsepower yes sir, you know, man. And the kiki the dawn pod and we will keep you entertained you know and i appreciate y'all coming through yeah donations donations gifts, donations. gifts. <laughs>